Hey guys, so welcome for our special episode tonight, TED Talk, Malaysian TED Talk. So we have a very special guest, two special guests in fact. First, we will have uh, Professor Dato Dr. Mohaya, uh, and then our upcoming guest will be Dato Vivis. So, and our topic today will be centered around students and youth life. So, I am very excited to um, introduce our special guest, Dato Professor Maya, which is also an eye consultant surgeon and um, a motivational speaker. I very look up for, uh, to you, Doctor. So, it's such an honor to have you here. Um, can you introduce uh, a little bit about yourself? Okay, thank you, Wardina. Uh, hi. My name is Dr. Dr. Mohaya Muhammad and thank you for inviting me to this TED Talk show, Malaysian, TED Talk Malaysian. Okay, Dr. Um, so we yeah. collected sure. um, a very high demand question from our viewers. So our, so our first question ever is, how do why do actually why do we actually wake up in the morning every day? Okay, thank you for the question. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It is a very very important question. What do we do? Why why do we wake up in the morning? And it is how you feel when you wake up in the morning that determines your whole day, right? How you begin your day is how you end your day yesterday. Do you know how you begin your day? It depends on how you end your day last night because yesterday's gratefulness will purchase to this happiness. And if you ask question, why do I wake up in this morning? I want to ask all of you, all of the audience and you, um, do you last night when you were about to sleep, do you ask God, please make me wake up tomorrow because some people never wake up, they just pass away. Mm. So are we grateful? So before we ask why we wake up, first I want to reset all of your mind, all of our mind. Most of us are living feeling a victim. That's the cause of unhappiness. Now, I would like to share with you how to live your life from being a victim to, a, to someone who's living a life, not just making a living. Okay. People who live their life making a living feel they have to get up. They have to go to work. They have to go to school, to the university, to the class. They have to pay the bill, they have to please people. This is not a good way of living and I think majority of people listening to this TED Talk, yeah, to this show, are living in this manner. So, that's all. Thank you for that very uh, informational um, sharing. I am deeply, <coughs> deeply touched by your words. Professor, so um, can we have more, just one last question, can we? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, sure, sure. Okay, so you have explained how, um, why to wake up, so I, this is personal question for myself, how do we actually wake up in the morning? Okay, thank you. Uh, Okay. Uh, most people when they wake up, they rush and they rush, sit up and go to the bathroom. No, that's not the correct way. Uh, you should sit up medically, clinically, never wake up immediately because your blood pressure has to stabilize. That's the sunnah of Rasulullah When you wake up, you sit down first and it is a optometrist, and I am a surgeon. 
So I noticed so many people who have dry eyes because they never rub their eyes, especially over the eyelashes where we have a series of glands. There is secret oil to make the tear firm, very nice and not dry. So wake up, you read the doa, you, uh, you are going to wrap your eyes tonight. Just wrap your eyes, wrap your eyes like this, and take water, sit down until your blood pressure stabilized. Um, all the blood that was in your feet uh, going to your head, and slowly your autonomic nervous system will take charge and stabilize your blood pressure. Then you see your shahada and your intention, how you're going to run your life today. Yeah, that's the correct way to wake up and having a good day. Thank you very much, Doctor, for that sharing. So, I think um, all of you really should take some notes and get this inside your head. Take some notes, students, and I mean, uh, I think this is this beneficial sharing will help all the students out there struggling with your new environment. So, thank you again, Doctor, for joining us for tonight. So we'll be back soon um, for the second interview, which is that to Dr. Biji. So thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Hey guys, so we're back for the second session with our special guest, Dato Shaza Yusto, an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur and patient icon. So Dato, can you Hello. introduce yourself? Hello guys, I'm Shaza Yusto, entrepreneur for Dotscar. Thank you for joining us tonight, uh, Dato. So for our youngster, we have um, we can kind we can count this like as present for you. We're gonna do a close up with Dato Shaza Yusto. So, um, so Dato, I'm going to ask you several questions. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. So, our first question is three basic uh, essential things that all women need in their life. For me, uh, of course. White shoes, uh, heels, mm, ah, yeah, white pants. Yeah, because I like the whole all look, all white look. Mm. Your hidden talent that nobody knows. Mm. Uh, I'm, I have to think about that. Ah, uh, yeah, but I don't have even hidden talent. I can't sing, can't dance, can't do anything. What are the things that you are most afraid of? Uh, I'm afraid of height. Uh, if I at the height place, uh, my heart will turn upside down and my stomach too. Your favorite holiday station? Yeah, of course, London. Yeah, because uh, I studied there. I met my husband there, uh, and lots of memories there. So it's familiar there. I like it. Um, one thing that you love about your husband. That yeah, he's mine. The most annoying habit of your husband. That he rushes me in the morning. Uh, yeah. Uh, Women need to uh, prepare uh, too much things, yeah, like iron this, iron that, uh, wear makeup. But for men, they just uh, wear shirts, wear pants, and just hair and done. So we no, we don't need to be rushed. Your biggest patient, no, no. Uh, kitten heels. I don't understand with them. You either can go low or high, not in between. Your favorite local designer? Uh, I don't have specific local designer because uh, if I have a chance, I can wear a mix of designers to the up on the top to the bottom. 
Yeah, I can wear all types of fashion clothes. Which one do you prefer, heels or bags? What? Both. Of course, both. No, you can only pick one. Mm -hmm. I okay. Uh, I have a bag and heels inside. Okay. Um, your biggest weakness. My biggest weakness is I'm a panic person, but I think I can work on that. Uh, and I am addicted to food, which is bad. Uh, it is bad to my eyes, and my eyes now uh, it's a bit wonky. And I have a count spaces for it because I like to text things. Have you ever um, messaged your colleague at an ungodly hour? I do, yeah, I definitely do. Is it wrong? Maybe. What are you talking The first thing that you do in the morning? Uh, I cut up my son, yeah, because uh, my son sleeps with us. Uh, I, I want to, I have my daughter too, but she prefers her dad. So, yeah. If you were stranded in London, name three things that you definitely will bring with you. Uh, my husband, my credit card, and my heels. Prince or monochrome? Monochrome. It's much cooler. Would you go offline for 24 hours? What? No, never. No. A big no. But what if someone pays you a lot of money for you to go offline? But if something happens, yeah, but you know, there, if there is emergency, no. <laughs> um, your favorite trend of the season? Uh, I like uh, fashion order, uh, wear dress and trousers inside and wear heels too. Well, it's, it uh, look uh, cooler and fashion. Describe your style in one word. Classic. Word that you live by? That you shouldn't be fear of anything but God. Your current theme song? Uh, I don't have any favorite song, but um, now I'm into Louis Capaldi. Yeah. Okay, now we have reached the end question. Heels or flat? Of course, he yeah. heels all the time. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely on the same team with you. Definitely heels. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for tonight, Dr. Shaza. Dr. Shaza? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, um, I think that's all for Malaysian TED Talk for tonight. I hope you guys will stay tuned for our next week episode. So thank you again for uh, joining us. And that's all from us. Um, good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.